To balance this equation here, aluminum nitrate plus sodium carbonate will count the atoms up on each side of the equation. And because this is a double displacement reaction, we're going to use a little trick with the polyatomic ions, with the nitrate and the carbonate here. So we have one aluminum, and then nitrate, we have it here, this NO3, it stays together in the reaction, we have it here again. So we can say we have one nitrate, and the three times the one gives us a total of three nitrate ions. Two sodiums, carbonate again, polyatomic ion, CO3, and then we have it again here. So we have one CO3, one carbonate ion, right here. On the product side, we have two aluminums, nitrates, we have one of those, we have one sodium, and then carbonate, we have one times the three, so we have three carbonates. So that simplifies things a lot. We don't have to count all these individual oxygens up. It gets kind of messy. Let's balance the equation. We could put a two as our coefficient here, and that would balance the aluminums. One times two, that'll give us two aluminums. The nitrates, we have three times the one, so we have three nitrates times this two here. So we have six nitrates. Let's balance the nitrates next. We could just put a six in front of the NaNO3, the sodium nitrate. We'd have one times six for the sodium, and we have one nitrate times six here, and that balances the nitrates. Might as well keep going down the list here. We have six sodium atoms and only two here. So if I multiply the sodium carbonate by three, two times three, that equals six. So those are balanced. And this three, it applies to everything. So we have the one carbonate times the three. That gives us three carbonate ions. And we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AlNO3-3 plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.